Hey there, VJ dudes and dudettes, we're back with a new update for you. Resolum 7.21 is out now and ready to rock your world. In this video I'm going to talk you through the entire update and show you all the shiny new toys. Let's start off by saying hi to the brand new transform widget for Resolum Arena and Avenue. This beauty allows you to move, scale and rotate your content directly in the preview monitor. The widget allows you to transform either the composition, layer, group or clip depending on your selection. No more fiddling with a bunch of sliders, just point and click to place your content where you want it, how you want it. Simply grab a handle in the monitor and start scaling, moving and rotating. Additional tools like mirroring, centering X and Y and subdividing your footage can be accessed through right clicking the widget. The widget can be enabled and disabled per monitor through the cogwheel menu. To learn about the full feature set of the transform widget, check out our transform widget tutorial. A link will be in the video description below. Input groups are a new feature in Wire 7.21. You can now group your input nodes into input groups from within the dashboard panel. Simply hit the cogwheel icon and select new group. Rename the group by double clicking the name or by using the cogwheel icon next to the group. Now we can drag our parameters into the group and organize our patch. The grouping is translated directly into Resolume Arena and Avenue where you can now have foldable parameter sections. That was it for the big features, but this update also has a whole bunch of small additions. So let's do a little turbo round of smaller 7.21 updates. You can now replace chords by dragging other chords on top of them. A little icon will show up, indicating that you are about to replace a connection. Additionally, when working in Event Flow, you can hold down the Alt key to combine chords. The Noise Generator node is here to bring you a constant stream of white noise, which is very useful for a continuous random signal. As part of this change, we have renamed all the oscillator nodes to include the word oscillator and renamed the Perlin noise node to Perlin generator. And talking about Perlin, we have added a Perlin node. This node will process any float signal through a Perlin noise algorithm, which gives you access to repeatable and loopable Perlin noise. The collapse triggers node is a little utility node that allows you to collapse multiple triggers that happen on the same frame into a single trigger. The fract node is an addition to the math nodes and allows you to take the fractional part of a float value. The delay node can now be reset by feeding it a trigger. The panel monitors in Resolume Arena and Avenue have been retired. This was already a very underused feature but it became obsolete due to all the monitor updates we've made over the last two years. We have cleaned up the file panel. It now gives you quick access to your recordings, renders and snapshots. And that was all for now. We hope you enjoy this update and have a great summer.